Several people have asked me to make weekly recordings for you, and I'm happy to do that. Uh, so today I thought we'd start with the walkthrough of the assignments for the week for week six agenda. Uh, you're basically going to do what you do every week, which is read and review the PowerPoint. Then you will do the discussion board, and please post that by Thursday night. And then respond to the posting of two of your classmates by Sunday. Sunday night at midnight, and then complete the quiz. Uh, this week you'll be working on your bibliotherapy selections, the parenting style analysis, and the super six. And we're going to skip down to those now so you get some idea. I think the weekly reading in PowerPoint is pretty self-explanatory. Just click on the PowerPoint and you'll be in business. The discussion board this week has to do with children who experience divorce in their family. You may have experienced it yourself, or you may know someone in this situation. So what we're looking at is how does it affect the child, and in, in some positive ways and sometimes in negative ways. Your readings will help you to discuss this, but what we'd also like to know is how can educators help support children and their families in non-traditional family systems? This is something we haven't always talked about, but we have children who are parented by, uh, well, for example, same-sex parents, two daddies, two mommies. Sometimes the parenting is a grandparent and a parent. Sometimes it's friends and uh, the mom or the dad who maybe share an apartment. And so there's a variety of different family systems. So what we're going to do is see how can we support these non-traditional families as well as those in more easily identifiable um, nuclear families. I would like you to add a faith component if one comes to mind. Um, and then, then, of course, respond to two of your classmates. Thank you on that. And the quiz, you've been doing quizzes. You have 45 minutes to do 13 questions. You do have to do it in one session. So if there's a problem ever in posting your quiz, just let me know. I'll go back and take the points away or do whatever needs to be done to, to help you be successful. Now, the next assignment is the bibliotherapy. So what you're going to do is locate two children's books that are appropriate for early childhood age range. That would be birth to age eight. They should be books that address some social or emotional issues that will be influenced by gender or attachment or family. Maybe they address family dynamics or different cultural issues that you can present through a PowerPoint presentation. You do not need to purchase the books. You can get them from a library. If you're close to the main campus, there's a huge selection of children's books in the library. You can go to a bookstore and read them there for free. Um, don't get into a lot of series books. For example, the Berenstain Bears Get Divorced. Um, nothing wrong with them, but what I'd like you to do is really look at a book that might have a richer storyline, something written for children that they can really identify with and also build a good sense of story as they go through it. If you're not sure if you've chosen a, uh, an appropriate book, I'm happy to help you. You're, you're going to make a slideshow about what you read, uh, the two books that you read, and the things that must be in the slideshow are listed here your name, the book title, and the author of the book. I would just go ahead and use an APA reference myself, but if for some reason you don't want to do that, at least give us the book title and the author. A lot of people will take a screenshot of the cover and include that on the slide. The topic that relates to some issue that children and families will face. For example, child has a working mother. Child is a victim of abuse. Sometimes the parents are fighting among themselves or the other caregivers are fighting among themselves and there's domestic abuse. What happens in the case of a death in the family? How does a child relate to this? So you would look up, these, these books will not be hard to find. You can search them by simply doing a Google for books about working mothers and children. 
or books about how children cope with family death. And you'll easily locate uh, a set of titles. The reason that you selected the book is important to me, so I would like you to, in a few sentences, tell, tell me or tell all of us in the slide, why did you choose this book? What made you choose it? Was it the issue itself? Was it something else about the book that made you uh, choose it? Also, please include the age of the children, the focus group for this, and tell us if this book is also a parent resource. In other words, would parents benefit from reading the book as well? Faith integration could include a Bible verse that goes with it. It could include uh, something that you learned in dealing with it in a church-related issue or another uh, worship-related uh, setting. It could be that you heard a sermon, for example, and you learned something from that that relates to the book you chose. Maybe a clergy person recommended the book, for example. So it would be helpful to see how you might rely upon a faith foundation to deal with this issue and perhaps how you might help a child from that particular faith tradition uh, deal with the issue. And there is a list of books we've provided for you here. Just simply click on this link. It's from Vanderbilt uh, University. It's an excellent set. So that will also help you to locate some books to review. If there are any questions, by all means, let me know. The Parenting Styles Analysis is our next uh, assignment. And this is a very interesting assignment because it's going to ask you to look at all of the different types of parenting and then to zero in on the type that you experience. So the first part of the paper will be a description of the four basic parenting styles that are covered in the, uh, in the readings. And then the second part of your paper will be what kind of parenting style did you experience? Please include some examples of parenting behaviors that illustrate the type of style you believe you experienced. Um, a lot of people my age, for example, had per very permissive parents because at that time they were really, it was all about do your own thing and, and let your kids have their space. But that's not so much the case uh, now, and it wasn't always the case prior to the type of parenting that some of us grew up with. Um, if you click on the rubric that's available, you'll be able to see how this is going to be graded. And also, I think that you will. I think that you will also find uh, find this a, a, an interesting self analysis. Now, finally, our assignment, the Super Six Plan, this is the critical assignment for this class. So this is the one that you have to pass with a satisfactory grade in order to get credit for this class. And a satisfactory grade is usually at least a C. Uh, I personally prefer a B minus, but I usually teach graduate students. So I think for undergraduates, uh, a 75 or something in that area will, you know, is considered satisfactory. Um, so here's, here's what we're going to do. It's, it's a scenario analysis. And what you will be doing is setting, following this scenario, imagine you're an esteemed developmental psychologist or an early childhood educator. First Five has selected you to speak to a large group of expectant parents at a national convention in order to provide them with critical knowledge about parenting. Because the time is limited, you will need to focus your speech on what you believe to be the six most important topics related to social and emotional development over the period of pre-birth to age eight. These are referred to as the super six. Besides speaking at the conference, First Five has asked you to provide these expectant parents with a product of some kind to visually represent these concepts. The goal is to help them understand the concepts and to remember the super six. Here are the specifics. You're going to reflect on the assignment, the readings, and the course in general to create a product representing the six most important topics that parents need to know about children's social and emotional development from pre-birth. The main focus of this assignment is the connection between the theories of social and emotional development and applied parenting. 
So don't forget to connect whatever it is you're talking about with theories related to that. Don't forget the assigned readings, in other words. If I don't hear any connections with Piaget or Vygotsky or any of the others that we've uh, dealt with, then you will not get full credit. Your Super 6 project can culminate in a number of interesting products. For example, I've seen brochures, pamphlets, books, videos, even a website. Uh, a PowerPoint presentation for this is not acceptable, so do not bring a PowerPoint presentation for the critical assignment. Now, in addition to the product, you're also going to submit a narrative describing the Super 6, at least three pages, not three pages each, but a total of three pages. And in your narrative, you must include a description of each of the Super 6 factors that you chose, telling why you selected it, defining it, and telling how it impacts social and emotional development of children. You must include a clear age designation with an explanation of why this topic is important for one of the four age groups we studied in class. The integra uh, 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 integration of theory and scholarly research in addition to textbook information with APA in-text citations and references at the end must be used. Now, for more detailed information on how it will be graded, please click on the rubric that will be visible when you click on the assignment in Week 8. So the details will be on the rubric in Week 8. I would encourage you to be creative with this. We've seen a lot of interesting things come in as products for this. Um, so uh, I'm, remember, I just do want to remind you, you have one topic for each of the four age groups that we studied in class. One topic for each of them. Uh, so keep in mind um, this assignment is very important and if you have any questions about it please don't hesitate to ask. I want you to be successful in the class and I certainly will do anything that I can to help you feel successful. So that's all I have to say to get you started on this week, and I hope that you'll forgive me if I'm talking too fast. The truth is, although I make my living in front of people uh, in a number of ways, talking, teaching, preaching, etc., uh, I'm actually kind of an introvert, so um, I'll do the best I can to help you along with this, and, and I hope this will be of help to you. But the bottom line is, I never mind questions, so if something isn't clear to you, send me an email, leave me a phone message, send me a text, whatever you need, I'm here to try to provide it if I understand that you're struggling. If you struggle silently, I'm not very good at mind reading, but I am very good at supporting you and helping clarify expectations. All right, God bless you, and I look forward to working with you in this week on a lot of interesting projects. Bye-bye now.